What's up, everybody? This is Chris with BenaBaseballCards.com again. <clears throat> no Series 2 tops, 2010 top Series 2 out in the stores right now, so um, I went to Target and, uh, or I was at Target already, so I decided to pick up this starter box of tops of tax cards so that way at least everybody knows what's inside of it so they don't have to guess at it but not want to buy it. It's, it was $5 or $4.99, whatever the receipt says. It says it's got one player starter box, which could be this box. It might be, yeah, they might just be talking about this box itself. And it's got 21 player cards in it. And here on the side, if you turn it to the side, it says it's got two code cards, four foil cards, and 15 base cards. And a play mat. So uh, this does come plastic wrapped over here. It's nice and uh, shrink wrapped. Uh, I cut it already so that way I can open it fast. And it appears that you need to open it from one of these two sides here. Either Ryan Howard or CeCe Thabathia or whoever else is on it. I'm pretty sure those are the only two. Uh, the cards are neatly wrapped here in some cellophane, so those look good. They look familiar, just like the ones that came inside of opening day. And then you got your play mat here. <sighs> I'm going to make sure that there's nothing else wrapped up inside of here. There's your play mat. I bet it's probably a pretty interesting game to play, but probably a bit uh, under me. I, I don't. <clears throat> I'm not a big game player, so it's probably meant for kids. Is what I mean by that. It's just I don't mean that I'm too good to play games. I just mean that I don't. I'm just not a huge game player. These, uh, yeah, these appear to be exactly the same as the packs that you could find in opening day. They had two, uh, two, two packs of attacks. And they've got the same blue backs with no numbers, so the cards are listed alphabetically on Beckett or uh, on my side. I did them alphabetically as well because there's really no other way to do it. Brian Roberts. Let's see if you guys can see that pretty well. Dan Ugla, Grady Sizemore, Jason Bay, Kevin Kuzminoff, Nolan Reimold, and David Wright regulars. This looks just like the foil cards. Well, it says here on the box that there's four foil. It doesn't specify what foil they are. Uh, I'm not sure if there's a gold or not. Mike Schmidt. Wow, nice. That was uh, buried down there in the a little lower in the stack. So it looks like they've got Mike Schmidt would be a legend. And then they've got Nick Markakis Hot Streak. So that's a different foil version. Uh, Adam Wainwright Hot Streak as well. And then they got Tim Lincecum, Superstar. Yeah, I guess a guy that wins two Cy Youngs two years in a row in his first two years. I guess that could be considered, uh, he could be considered a superstar. As far as I can tell, the hologramness, holographicness, I guess would be the better word, they all appear to be the same foil, so it doesn't, I'm pretty sure there's a silver version and a gold version, but these all appear to be the same thing. On the back of the Schmidt card, it has a Battle of the Ages logo versus a Phillies logo. Uh, and I say that because all the other ones have teams on them, so I'm not sure what that Battle of the Ages, the Ages thing is. To finish out the commons, we got uh, AJ, AJ Burnett, Zach Grinke, and that looks a little different than the Grinke that I have, Ryan Dempster, Dan Heron. That green key probably looks different because I think I have one that looks like this instead of a plain white one. Ichiro has a code. Berkman has a code. I don't really care about the codes because they uh, they probably open something up online and I guess I'd want to reserve that for people that buy them. So I got Ichiro and Berkman. I got code cards and I'll cover them up with the Heron cards so we can see that. Berkman, Ichiro, and then I still got uh, Gerardo Parra, Scott Rowland, Mark Teixeira, Jason Bartlett. So those are the commons, or the simple cards that I call them simple base, and I call these simple inserts since there's nothing smoking good in there. But that's what you get in one of those little $5 boxes, uh, uh, the $5 starter boxes. And uh, my first my first package of something, I always go ahead and uh, 
keep the box from it so that way I can refer to it in case somebody has questions about it. Uh, obviously, I know how much it was, so it, I'll be able to refer back to the price as well. And I'll put the receipt in here also. Uh, just to just so you guys know, the next two videos that I'm going to do, got my little target bag here. Uh, these are these are what else I picked up. I picked up some loose packs of attacks that came from the uh, uh, gravity feed boxes, and I picked up seven more packs of National Chickle Retail that have six cards in them. I'll do those in two more videos. Uh, I just wanted to split them up to make sure that I keep them all below ten minutes because everybody, it's something I thought about doing that kind of just dawned on me after people were uh, getting tired of the two-part videos, and a lot of that was because they were hobby boxes, but. I found a way to keep them under 10 minutes and down to one video instead of two parts, so that should keep everybody happy. The videos get shorter and you still get all the same good information or what I would consider good information. I know that's kind of arrogant to say, but I'd like to think it's good information if I'm up to 40,000 views and uh, uh, 200 plus subscribers, so you guys keep watching them and I'll keep doing them. See ya.